What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23 and today we're going to be taking a look at Marvel Future Revolutions, a new mobile game that just came out last week. Uh, Netmarble has made this game and I got to be honest with you, so far I'm really enjoying it. I'm having a great time. It's giving me a lot of flashbacks to some of my older uh, MMO days, like when I used to play City of Heroes and really enjoyed it. Uh, having a good time with the game so far and right now it is basically my primary game that i've been playing over uh, both raid and rage of destiny and i think this game is probably going to become my main game in the future just for the time that i'm going to be investing into it uh, but i basically wanted to kind of just go over the game in general today give you a kind of a quick rundown uh, whether or not i think you guys should check it out uh, i think if you're a fan of marvel in general you probably do want to at least give it a try see if you like it I will let you know ahead of time though, this is a mobile game, it is a net marble game, so if you do want to compete uh, in PvP, especially toward the end game, you are most likely going to have to make a substantial monetary uh, investment in the game. Uh, so far I've been playing since it launched on the 25th, so about 6 days now, and I think I've spent maybe like $25 buying some of the uh, rank up packs they give you when you clear a certain stage. Just because I'm really enjoying the game, and when I do really enjoy a game, I don't mind giving the developer a little bit uh, of money back. Although, in this case, this is net marble, so I'm kind of reluctant to spend knowing their history of some of the other games they have done in the past and some of their uh, monetization practices. But overall, so far, the game is really fun. Uh, you can pick from a variety of different uh, characters at launch. I believe there's eight all together. So I went with uh, Captain Marvel as my main. I have Iron Man. Uh, Storm, since she's one of my favorite X-Men characters from the 90s. The X-Men uh, are basically the comic books that I grew up on. And then also Captain America. Uh, so far, it's been pretty cool. I also have um, additionally unlocked uh, Black Widow. Uh, you can buy character unlocks for the free gems that you, they give you. So if you are playing and you want to try to go the free-to-play route, I would suggest saving all of your crystals that they give you early on because you'll be able to unlock... Uh, more characters that way, uh, especially when they release newer ones, which I'm sure they're going to do. Uh, but it's a pretty cool game. The storyline is basically there's multiple uh, multiverse Earths like coming together, which explains why everybody can play as the same character. And there's a ton of different costume options that you get. The cool thing about this game is it does have a transmog system in it, so the costume pieces that you equip as your actual gear that gives you stats. Um, you don't have to actually wear that when you're out in the world. You can put together whatever costume you want from a variety of pieces that you do collect. Uh, even like some of the one star costume pieces you get look kind of cool. So you might want to use those as part of your outfit and you're definitely able to do that. So that's actually one of the things I really like about the game, uh, especially with Iron Man, you can put together some really cool looking Iron Man suits for him. Um, and each like region has a special set of, uh, costumes and armor and things that you can get. Uh, but the game's got some really cool systems. It reminds me a lot of Star Wars The Old Republic, uh, but it's not quite as grind intensive as that. Uh, there is some grind, obviously, uh, but you can play this game very casually and still enjoy it. And that's kind of, I think, why I like it so much. Uh, there's all these guides out already. Everybody's saying, oh, you have to pick this character. You have to play this certain way. Don't do any side quests till you get to this point. You know, play X, Y, Z, do this, that, and the other. And I'm actually doing the opposite. I'm just playing the game and enjoying it. I'm doing each area uh, on my main character first. I'm doing all the side quests. I'm getting all the collectibles. And then I'm moving on to the next area with the main. And then I'll go back and play through the prior area with all of my alternate characters uh, to help get my squad level up. And that actually makes it easier as you progress with one character. It builds up your squad level. Uh, when you play subsequent characters, your squad level increases and you also get bonus stats from that squad level that make it a lot easier uh, to start out with your new hero. So for example, when I unlocked Black Widow, who's my fifth hero, um, she started out already at like 20,000 power on the first stage. Kind of over leveled a little bit, but it makes it easier to progress through that. And then you can play those side quests and things and get some more gold and get some more items that you can use overall. And the reason I really like this game, and like I said, why I'm playing it a little bit more casually is because there's all these different challenges, there's achievements, um, you get stuff for like, you know, kill 500 enemies, kill 1,000 enemies, kill, you know, 30,000 enemies. So you can just sit and farm enemies if you want. You can go and do side missions. Uh, there's these little missions that'll pop up when you're walking through the area that you can just do kind of all of a sudden. And there's a little bit of story in there. It's nothing, you know, amazing or in-depth, but it's pretty neat overall. And I like the fact that you can just kind of go do whatever you want. Uh, to me, it's like, unless you're super interested in just getting into that in-game raiding and PvP, 
then yeah, you're probably going to rush through the game and go for that. But for me, it's like I can play the game at my own pace. I can do whatever I want. I can play whatever character I want to. I don't have to follow some you know guide and do paint by numbers like so many games are doing these days. And you know, I don't understand anymore really why people want to just get instant gratification. They want to run through the entire game so quickly, get all the way to the end, and then of course in a couple of weeks they're going to cry that there's no content to play because the game just came out. <laughs> so uh, that's not the approach I'm taking. Uh, just in really enjoying the game, going through each area, playing it kind of as a completionist on my main character. And the cool thing is too, is once you do get an area complete, there's also things you can come back and do. Like uh, there are super villains that will pop up randomly around the map uh, that you can kill and get achievements for. And you actually do need to complete a certain number of those in order to completely finish out an area's activity log. So that's kind of the cool thing. You can go through with one character, do all the main quests, do all the side quests, get all the collectibles. When you come through with an alternate character, you don't have to get those collectibles again. So really all you have available are the side quests and the main quests, which you can usually wipe out pretty quickly. But then you can also kind of hang around and go and, and hunt some of those super villains because you probably didn't get them all going through. Uh, the spawn rate on some of the main ones is kind of kind of bad right now. I'm hoping they, they tune it up. Like uh, anybody that's been waiting for Red Skull in the Hydra Zone knows it takes forever for one of him to spawn. So hopefully that's something they are going to tweak a little bit because you basically just have 50 people waiting around and they just all go rush to one spot and if you can't get there in time to kill it it just feels bad because you got to sit there for like another 30 40 minutes and wait so hopefully they'll tune that up a little bit that's just one of the cool things about the game is you can just kind of play your own way do whatever you want and you know everybody will say oh you got to pick this character to start with that's really you know it's up to you uh what i would suggest is um you know if you have a favorite character that's among the starting eight maybe choose them but you know, there's a different mix of play styles. You know, some of the characters uh, are ranged. Some of the characters are more like melee damage. Like uh, Captain America is a tank. He gets up close and just, you know, hits people with a shield and benefits from a lot of defense and HP. Or you can play someone like Storm who plays more like a blaster. You're long range, you're shooting electric attacks and you're more based on attack and critical damage and things like that. So there's a lot of kind of cool archetypes. And that's why I said it kind of does remind me a little bit of City of Heroes kind of with the semi-open world where you can go around inside the map, you know, look for the collectibles, go off and just farm enemies if you want to do that for, you know, 50, 50 minutes or an hour or something. Just go out there and, you know, do whatever you want. So I'm having a lot of fun with the game. Like I said, playing it very casually, but I can definitely see where some people would want to run to the end and get that done, but that just doesn't appeal to me. I'm really enjoying kind of just having a fun game to go around and play that doesn't feel like work like something like raid for example where you feel like it's a job when you log in and you got to play this game you log in it's kind of like oh what do, you know we can go do whatever we want today we can go play some blitzes uh we can go do a raid we can go jump in the arena if we want to or we can just go sit in the zone and auto farm for 20 minutes and go fight super villains you know so there's a lot of different options uh, pretty fun for now i'm sure as with all of these games there will be a point where i hit a wall but so far about a week into the game, I'm really enjoying it. I think my main character, Captain Marvel, I think I'm level 43 on her right now, like 116,000 power. I think my squad rank is 30 uh, because I am taking it kind of slow and I'm going back and playing all the, the backstages with my um, alternate characters to get them up to the, the same point pretty much. Um, but it's pretty cool so far. And uh, I think it's definitely worth checking out. I think this game is going to have a lot of staying power just because it does have obviously the marvel ip behind it uh anytime they release a new character it's probably going to be pretty amazing everybody's going to want to get that character of course and play it and see how they play and go back through and replay through the game with it obviously there's going to be implications for that uh with like raids and arena and things like that seeing how well the different heroes synergize with each other um, but so far pretty much starting out it has a lot to offer in my opinion uh, i think it's a pretty cool game and i would definitely give it a try uh you know just check it out see if it's something you like you could it's it really doesn't take too long to level up and get through the first couple starting areas so you can kind of just choose the heroes you want to play at first and kind of get used to it and figure out what your play style is going to be uh going down long term there's some collection aspects also like you collect comic books as you're like omega cards and you'll use those to power up your hero just like you'll get these uh, badges from battling that will drop off of the enemies and you can also get those through blitzes and other areas there's crafting in the game you can uh, upgrade your costume pieces very similar to how you upgrade champions and raid your costume pieces will have star ratings like one star two star three star and say you get 
a bunch of one-star pieces, you can actually fuse those to make one of them two-star and you continue to upgrade that piece. Uh, that kind of works with some of the regional gear you'll get when you beat each stage. It'll usually be one star and then you can fuse it up and continue to use it throughout the game uh, as you go through. Uh, it's got all kinds of great MMO systems built into it for a mobile game. I'm really surprised they didn't actually bring out a PC client for this game because uh, I, I don't think I could play this on my phone. I think my phone number one would run this game. Uh, the graphics look pretty good. Uh, what you're seeing on the gameplay here is pretty much the low settings. So I was playing this on my older PC where I kind of had to jury rig my uh, blue stacks up a little bit to get it to work. Uh, my main PC that I have, it runs flawlessly on blue stacks. It's great. You have to get the 64 bit version though. I think that also applies for LD player if you're running it on that. But I just couldn't see playing this game on a phone. Maybe on like a big tablet screen, but it plays more to me like a PC uh, or a console like MMO style game. And if I'm being completely honest, this game is head and shoulders better than the $60 plus DLC plus whatever else um, Avengers game that came out, I think it was last year, that I paid like 60 bucks for. And, you know, the story was pretty good. But other than that, the game was an absolute flop. This game blows that game out of the water. Uh, I didn't really obviously have to try that hard to do that, but uh, very solid game. Like I said, really cool MMO elements into it. And if you're not trying to rush through and just get to the end game, uh, you can certainly play this game free to play and get a lot of enjoyment out of it, especially if you are a fan of the Marvel uh, IP and you like the characters, uh, definitely give it a try. Uh, if you guys are planning on playing the game, let me know uh, down below in the comments. Uh, if you're already playing it, let me know uh, how you're doing and how you like it so far. But I think this is a game that I'm gonna wind up playing uh, for quite a while and has already taken away a lot of my playtime off of Raid. Uh, I've been focusing and just pretty much no lifing this game for the last week. It's been so enjoyable. So I think you guys will like it too. Please give it a shot. See what you think. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. As always, I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks as always for watching. And I will see you again next time.